guys, it's Terry with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care again, and I'm here with Duke, and we're gonna move on to the down. Um, and so, this is new for him, we're just starting teaching him this, so all I'm gonna do initially is I'm gonna use some food, and I'm gonna lure him into the position. I'm gonna click and reward when his belly hits the ground, we'll do that over and over again. Then I'll start to add a little bit of leash pressure, um, and we'll graduate up to where I can stand all the way up and add the command. But it's a process, okay? So know that. In the beginning, I like to start them from a sitting position because they're already halfway down. It's easier for them at first, but that won't be forever. Once they know the command, I will get them doing it from a standing position. Um, but again, just easier for them. We want to make it as easy as possible for them to get it right when it's new. And um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of food and lure him. Oh, so important, when I get him in the sit, I just use a little leash pressure. I'm not telling him to sit. I don't want a pattern saying sit and then, good. And then saying down, sit down, sit down, sit down, because then when I ask for a sit in the future, the dog's gonna down after that. So I just use the leash to get him in it. Let's go, go boy. See, and he's so used to, when I stop, he's used to sitting anyway, so it works out great. So I'm just luring him. This is luring him into the down position. Good. Clicking and releasing the food once his belly hits the ground. Let's go. And you can see he's, he's a smart little dog. He's figuring it out pretty quick. Let's go. So some dogs, it's going to take them longer. It might take a few minutes for them to figure out how to get that food. If you do this, Right, and they're down here sniffing the food and they stick their head up, you just come back up with the food and lure them back down, okay? Don't say anything, don't talk to them, keep it totally silent, that helps them to focus on what you're trying to tell them. That's good. With the food, which is, you know, come down to the floor. Good, okay. So I'm gonna add a little leash pressure, let's go, to this, because I don't wanna have to bend down. Uh, to get my dog to down. And when you first start adding a little bit of leash pressure, it's not uncommon for them to go, wait, what's going on here, right? You saw how quickly he was going into it. There we go. But the, the leash pressure is actually a distraction at this point. Okay. Back into that sitting position. Let's go. Anything different is different. Even if to you it's so, you know, doesn't seem that different, it's totally different to them. And it can cause them to be distracted. See, he doesn't mind the leash pressure going up getting him into sit because he understands what that means. Right now he just, there he goes. Good boy, good boy. Let's go. But you'll see, he'll get over that once he understands what's happening. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go. And it's just ever so slight, too. Let's go. It's not, you know, yanking them down to the ground. It's just a tiny little bit. It's just a conversation. You know, it's just a, a cue. What will become a cue for him to lay down. So, see, he's getting better. Let's go. Is just as important 
as the one I do out of the down command because I want him to know, let's go. That's when he can get up out of the down. If he gets up out of the down before that, even though I'm not using the word, I'll just use the leash pressure to get him back in it. Good, so now he's going down pretty easily. Let's go. I'm gonna start to move the food away and use you know, the leash pressure. You're gonna do it from up here. So I'm using my foot to pull so that I can pull up on the leash to pull him down. And I'm gonna put the food here. Good. So that I can transition to standing up. Okay? Let's go. So I'm not stepping on the leash as much as I'm using my foot to loop the leash under so I can pull up to pull to pull him down. So as he's as he's going down, I'm taking up the slack. That's really important. Let's go. Because I want, again, this is about pressure on, pressure off. I want him to learn about how to turn the pressure off. By laying down, the pressure goes away. Okay? And again, it's not a lot of pressure. It's a tiny bit of pressure in his case. Some dogs, you need a little more pressure. Good. But you'll see as he transitions through this, let's go. Once he's doing that pretty easily, with me in this standing up position. Um, right now, I'm still using a bit of luring. In other words, the food's right down there by him. Let's go. Uh, and I'll tr transition away from that to just the leash pressure. Good. So he's going down pretty easily. I'm gonna start to add the word. Let's go. So just before I come down here with the food, and just before I put on leash pressure, I'm gonna say down. I'm gonna click and mark that because that was nice. Let's go, even though I didn't say anything or do anything. I was just getting ready to. Good boy. But you know, the patterning again, and he knows that's what's coming. Down. Good boy. Let's go. And by the way, right now, he's him doing down, up, down, up, down, up. It's like doing push-ups, so it definitely burns energy, physical and mental. Down. Good boy. Let's go. And I'm just trying to turn him so that you guys can see better. So I'm not pulling yet, just getting ready. Down, pressure goes on. Food right there. Good. Let's go. Down. Good. So I'm going to move the food away from him and then eventually uh, move to rewarding, which means he does the thing and then the food appears. Okay? Let's go. Good oh boy, Duke. Duke, you're so smart. Down. Good. Let's go. Down. Good. Let's go. Down. Good. See, that time I didn't bend all the way down there. Down. Good boy. Okay, let's go. So this time, even if I'm bet not bending down, but I have the food in my hand and he knows it's there, that's kind of luring. So I'm not even gonna have a piece of food in my hand. Down, leash pressure. I'm using some leash pressure. Good boy. And the food appears. And I'm gonna give him several that time <clears throat> because that's the first time he went down without me luring him. Good boy. Okay, let's go. Down. Good boy. And I will, um, as I'm going through this, use get less and less leash pressure and start to wean my wean off my foot, like not moving my foot as much. Let's go. Because even that is a cue, like a hand signal, but it's using my foot that of what I'm looking for. Down. Good. Down. Good. Good boy. So that's, um, that was really nice. Good boy. Let's go. 
Great way to wear out your dog too. Do 10 or 15 minutes of sit, de sit drills or down drills. Down. Good. That's a good boy. Yeah. Let's go. Down. the leash pressure and see what happens uh, and I'll wait just a moment if nothing happens I won't repeat the command I'll just start the leash pressure and I'll do that several times in a row and then I'll try it again just saying the word pausing and waiting to see if he makes a connection and when he does the first few times I will jackpot him with food which means give him you know piece after piece after piece after piece so he knows he did, did something really good then I'll start adding in you know the moving around and expecting him to hold it for longer and distractions and everything else, you know, like we do with the sit in, in place as well. So that is the beginning of the down command, and that is Duke. This is Duke right here. Let's go. Good oh boy. Down. Good boy. Right? And if you have questions about this or you're struggling with your dog, let me know. I can give you some tips on how to make it happen. Because um, every dog is different, you know. There's dogs that are much more difficult in getting them into a down position than than this. Let's go. Um, so you know, don't feel like you're doing something wrong. You might be, but you know, um, I'd be happy to help you. So, good Terry Hansen, good dog coaching and pet care with Duke. Uh, you can post in the comment section or email us at info at gooddogcoaching.com. You can check out our YouTube channel. We've got all kinds of videos, how-to videos on there as well. So, all right, have a great day. Let's go.